Hola, buenos días. Soy Nico. I was ridiculed. I was chastised. I was pinned to the cross for not being open. So today, I feel like I'm fighting an unwinnable war. Nico, what do you mean? I'm just chipping away and chipping away and y'all don't listen and then you come back and say, did you break through yet? So, <laughs> Before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics for weekly lives, exclusive videos, and early access to the YouTube videos while also helping while also helping this channel move smoothly. But now that the plugging is out of the way, Granny Glaze. Nico, Granny and I have come to a peaceful understanding. I addressed the possible collab that he offered if I apologized to him publicly and I refused to do so in a video. So now that's behind us. Y'all know I have nothing against this man. We've discussed this publicly. He is scamming you. Nico, he is scamming you and I wasn't gonna say nothing, but y'all kept adding me because y'all know I address these things and here's what it is. So you remember in the last video, somebody had told me that he identified as bisexual now and that he only identified as heterosexual because of his homophobic Jamaican ancestry. But at the same time, he is now promoting his male on male collab as a straight man. This straight booty is getting ate up. Nico, I'm trying not to laugh because <laughs> and obviously I can't show the pictures or the videos, but that's the thing. He has done two man-on-man -man collabs now. One was with Malik Joseph burying his nose into the small of his crack. Nico, he was not eating that man. He was not, and that's the thing. Malik has faked this with Air Thugger as well. I've discussed it online. Y'all continue to complain and say, let people spend their money on what they want. But as soon as you get scammed, you want to come over here and say, Nico, you should talk about this because they're taking my money. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? What's not clicking? What's not clicking? We discussed this so many times. And that's the thing. When I saw that video, I was like, you know what? I can clearly tell that he is not doing anything to this man. But at the same time, I'm not going to say anything until more information comes out. Because I'm the type of, I'm the type of bitch. I want to see the video before I judge anything just because maybe it was a misleading angle. Maybe it was, you know, I didn't see it correctly. No, they weren't doing anything. He took your money. Second, he collabed with somebody who is normally trustworthy with their content. Nico, what do you mean? Jacoby, I've discussed him online one time because of the information he willingly put on the internet about his messy breakup with his ex, Matt. And he was not receptive to that because we actually used to follow each other. He blocked me. And then I blocked me and tried to DM me saying that he understands where I was coming from. And it was mostly the comments that were negative because I didn't necessarily say anything negative about them. I just discussed what he willingly put online. But at the same time, he is not a man that likes criticism. Nico, what do you mean? Just based on the comments that I saw, because people were rightfully saying, you scammed me. So if you did not know, him and Grandy Glaze did a joint video where they was suds in each other up. They were, you know, allegedly, Bucci was getting chomped in the shower and there were photo op pictures of him licking places and he's like, it's not a scam. Every inch of him tastes delicious. You know, it was all real. It all tasted so good. But people started buying the video. Normally, Jacoby is one of those people you pay for a subscription, you get into the OnlyFans, and it's everything that he has advertised. This time, he had to do it as a sale, as in, you will pay $12.99 for part one and $12.99 for part two, while Grandy Glaze charged $30.99 for the solid video. When the video came out, people were not happy because it was visibly fake. Nothing was actually being done. This man was not getting eaten. It was false advertisement. 
And Jacoby was arguing back and forth with the people online, saying, how you gonna talk about it when you ain't see the video? As soon as people see the video, well, I can't talk about his content, but my content is blah, 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 blah. And that's the thing I don't understand. Because when I came out and said, I would not do a collab with Grandy, it was for the sole purpose of, I know it's going to be a scam and it's not going to look good on my business. When it comes to Jacoby, I actually have respect for his productions that he puts out because his videos are of a certain quality. His videos are of a certain standard. And he even tried to do the whole concept videos like the Tarzan and Jane thing with Chipotle bag, Gak Trizzy, or the um, cowboy barn house thing with Mr. Good Booty. That one was actually good. Mr. Good Booty's a fine man. If you ever want to... <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not using that. I'm not using it for the time plug. But yes, that is a fine man. So I actually enjoy his um his videos when he puts them out because they're normally of a good quality. That's why whenever I've addressed him, it's usually for the stuff he puts online, but never because of his content. Because one thing he will do is give you a solid video. So I will give him that. Do not try to angrily DM me. I'm just talking about the point that you're partnering with the scammer and now it's backfiring. Because if you look on Grandy's page, he is not advertising any of the male collabs. He is strictly saying, I'm having super happy, fun adult time with women. He is promoting his female collabs and you actually see him doing the deed. Of course, these videos are not getting nearly as much traction because people want to see that booty. People want to see a bubble booty. <laughs> That's what people want to see. So he's promoting the straight side of things while the girls that he actually partnered up with, the gay men, they're promoting their man on male collabs. So it's basically he's scamming people and letting it fall flat on their platforms. It got to the point where Jacoby cut off all the comments on every video associated with Grandy because he was getting rightfully dragged for scamming people. And I just want to use this as a learning lesson when a person consistently scams y'all, do not think they're not scamming you just because they have a quick video. Notice how every promo video was three seconds. Notice how you didn't see any true, <sighs> any true physical movements. When you are doing that to someone's booty, you know, uh, think there's actual movements. If you've ever actually eaten a booty, you know what it is. So it's just like, if you can tell that it doesn't look real, if you could tell that the nose placement is in the wrong spot, because we all have human anatomy. We all know where the, the Cheerio is actually at. If your nose is right there and not your mouth, it is visible. So I don't know why people try to pull the wool over your eyes and then charging a premium. Oh, it's finally happening. It's finally getting done. $30 for a scam. And you know what? Normally I come on here <laughs> Normally, I come on here and I hold them accountable, but the gay for pay men that scam y'all at this point, like I said in the last video, I'm just gonna let it happen. I'll report on it, but I'm not gonna be upset with you. I'm not gonna be upset for you because I did not pay for this because I know when a scam is happening. We see it time and time again. How many times has Grandy alleged that he was going to do a scene with a man and then re emphasize he was never going to have sexual interactions with a man? Why do y'all think it's changed because it's 2022? He is still advertising himself as straight, not bisexual, despite what he said on the Bobby Lights I Love You Purr TV show. Zeus Network show, let me clarify that. So yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. How do you feel about the scam? How do you feel about him alluding to something finally being done, charging $30.99 for it, and then dipping with your money? Because allegedly he has multiple scenes that were advertised on Twitter that just never showed up on his OnlyFans. And that's just from Yelp reviews at this point. I don't understand why people put out content and get mad at the Yelp reviews. It's it, like, if you subscribe to my shit and you were not happy and you want to talk about it, if it was within reason, girl, go for it. Like if I advertised something and I never posted it, I would understand you being upset with me. So I never understood going back and forth with quality commentary on your content. Because when it's positive, you love it. When it's negative, you don't. And that's the difference. As somebody who's in the public eye doing YouTube, people have commentary on me all the time. If it's about my voice, if it's about me laughing all the time, that's one thing because that's not necessarily addressing my content, that's just you picking at me. If somebody comes on here and says, I didn't agree with you, if somebody says the lighting was off, if somebody says the sound could be better, that is a critique of my content and I can't be upset with it because that's their opinion. So at the end of the day, 
I personally think you should stop going back and forth with people, Jacoby, because I'm sure you're going to see this just for the sole fact that you willingly partner with a scammer and now it's having a negative look on your brand when you do produce quality content. I'm not going to come on here and be upset and lie. You produce very good visuals, audio, and usually decent angles depending on the collab. So I'm not going to come on here and say that you're a strict scammer because your content is usually legit. It just goes to show you that not every collab is worth it. Because honestly, if I did the Grandy Glaze collab like he suggested and apologized publicly, we would have made a lot of money. I'm not stupid. I'm a businessman at the end of the day. I just know that it would be a bulk buy and then people would look at me funny because it would have been a scam like this. If you're going to do something, do it, especially if you're charging a premium for it. $30.99. I'm actually looking at y'all crazy. $30.99 to see somebody get their booty ate, even if the video was real. $30.99. Be for real with yourselves. But yeah, definitely drop your opinions down below. I, I, I'm actually not that harsh on the week on this one just because he's used to scamming with straight boys. So it's, like, so it's like I'm holding Jacoby to the fire because I'm like, girl, you actively have a good platform and good videos. I don't know why you would do that. But yes, definitely drop your opinions down below. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I'll see you guys there.